Hello, and this is the second part of a two-part tutorial about using Jamboard. Now, the first tutorial kind of went over all of the basic functionality, talked about the fact that you can use this on a PC, a Mac, or any of the mobile devices. So what I'm going to do right here, because I did mention that there's a couple of other features available, whether you have a touchscreen type of a device, I do happen to have an iPad, which is a touchscreen device, and a stylus, and I'm actually going to show how you can use Jamboard with some of the additional features from the mobile device version of this particular app, as well as using a stylus, which makes writing quite a bit easier. So, again, if you're on an iOS device or an Android device, you got to make sure that you download the Jamboard app, either at the Google Play Store or at uh, the Apple uh, App Store. So once you get it on your machine, it's located right here, and you can go ahead and launch it from this particular spot. So again, if you have any jams that you've already created, they'll be listed here, and you can access them that way if your idea was to play them. But if you wanted to create a new one, which we're going to do, you come down here and tap on it. Now I'm going to be using my fingers, and whenever possible, I'll kind of show you or explain where it is that I'm doing various things. I might even use the cursor here to pull into the screen to the stage so that you see exactly what it is that I'm doing. So we're going to come down here with the plus sign to start ourselves a new jam. And so I touch on the plus sign with my finger and I get the jam idea. So again, we have our stage here in the middle. We have the toolbar down along the bottom. We've already described the toolbar, but there's another feature that I want to talk about. We've got the undo and redo idea here. And again, this is how you advance to different uh, jam uh, screens right in the spot. But I do want to show that if I come down here and with my finger I touch on the plus sign, I have the ability to add a lot of the things that we talked about before, but one of the interesting ones is here, I can actually have things inside Google Drive, and I did talk about this in the video, but here's exactly where you can go about doing that, along with getting access to the camera, image libraries, we have stickers, which is a new thing, the sticky note, we've already talked about that and shown how to do that, so I'm not going to show that here. Again, this is just to show some of the unique pieces that you can get to with the mobile device version of the Jamboard app. One of the things specifically I want to uh, talk about or show is once I get rid of the, um, the plus area that gave me those additional choices. Again, I still have the menu down here. I'm currently in the pen mode here, so I have the ability to write. Here's the eraser. Here's my selection tool so forth and then we have our pointer or laser if you will so in this particular mode i am in the pen mode i can actually identify uh, different thicknesses moving from left to right is the different thicknesses here apologize for that because uh, i'm mirroring my ipad that item keeps popping up there as long as the color for where i'm at i'm fine no particular issue here but since i am in this pen mode um, this is where I said if you have a touchscreen device and you want to do something like math or something like that, or maybe you're going to have a document actually bring in from the Google Drive area on your screen, and then you want to annotate it with your touchscreen uh, device. In this case, I have a stylus. It does make it a little bit easier, at least for me, to actually write. I'm not that good on a computer using my mouse to try to write things, but... Um, you know, maybe there's uh, maybe there's something that I can do with a stylus that might make things a little bit easier, right? So if I have uh, corp A and corp B, and maybe I got some I think I was getting too close to the edge there. So earnings before interest and taxes for Corporation A. Oops, I know why. <laughs> 
I don't know if you see this, but I've accidentally um, used my, I think, my wrist or something. Let me go back here. I have to actually make it the pencil again. That's why nothing was staying. There we go. So you got to be careful when you're writing on this thing to not lean on some of those other buttons again since it is a touch screen. There we go. So earnings before interest in taxes. Let's say that's 400000 and Corp B, it's also 400000 And maybe what I'm trying to explain here is that these companies are each going to take a different uh, approach to how they're going to do business. One of them is actually has used some bonds in order to um, pay for some of the assets in the organization. And so they may have interest that they're going to have to pay, and it's going to have to be taken out of their earnings before interest in taxes. So we have $300,000 here. Well, bond, bonds were not used by Corporation B, so they still have 400000 in EBT, earnings before taxes. So let's say we have a 25% tax rate. That means our tax is going to be $75,000 for Corp A, which is going to leave us $225,000. And if we do 25% to $400,000, that's $100,000 in taxes. That's going to leave us $300,000 here. So I'm going to advance over to screen two. And so we have, again, Corp A. Corp B, we have 225. And we have 300,000. And so from that perspective, you can decide how you want to Let's say there's a uh, hundred thousand shares outstanding in Corp A, but there's a hundred and ten thousand shares because they sold ten thousand shares rather than using bonds to finance their organization. And we want you to figure out EPS or earnings per share. So if you take two hundred and twenty-five thousand and you divide it by a hundred thousand shares, that's two dollars and twenty-five cents. For an EPS and if you take three hundred thousand dollars and divide it by the hundred thousand shares your earnings uh, per share is 2.72 approximately and so then you may want to explain what the difference is or talk with that about your students but I just wanted to show you how it is a little bit easier to actually write things if you have a stylus and you're going to you know identify specifically what you want you could actually write some things down and it does take some practice um, but I think you'll find it a lot easier than trying to write with a mouse and again, uh, since it's touch screen, I can go back to my second page, I can go back to my first page, and so forth, and I can continue to move back and forth. I can move into adding additional uh, pages or screens, views, if you will, preview areas uh, into this platform. Again, the other tool that I talked about, this was kind of like the, the laser type of thing, so it does go away once I... So if I wanted to go back to a previous page, I can actually use the laser and kind of highlight certain things and it will go away. That's what I had accidentally hit when I was trying to write uh, way back in the, uh, uh, the beginning of this tutorial when I was writing the earnings before interested in taxes and it wasn't staying. I didn't realize that I had accidentally hit on this little guy right here, which is the uh, laser pointer okay so again the big deal from this perspective of using one of the mobile devices 
is that you have access to pulling things in from your Google Drive area. So I can get access to all kinds of different things and bring those documents onto my screen. I can expand it. I can delete it. And so this might be something I might want to do some work on. I might want to show the students, what have you. And there's various things that you can do here. I can duplicate it. I can make another copy. So maybe we, as a group, we work on it together. We make an adjustment. And so we can show what the first version looked like, the second version looked like, and so forth. So again, uh, just a couple of other little things. But I did want to show, since I wasn't able to do that the first time, I actually didn't have my iPad with me when I was making the first video for this particular recording and this uh, tutorial. So um, I did want to pull out my iPad when I got a hold of it and actually go through and showing you some of these other features. Thanks.